Welcome to Microsoft Excel tutorial. What we're going to do in this tutorial is to uh, uh, split the data from the list. So if we have noticed, we have a list of names. Uh, our objective is to split the first name and the last name into uh, another column. First thing to do, do is uh, make sure that the data are selected and then we go to the data tab and then select the text to columns uh, menu and then then we have these two options the limited and fixed width so this time we are going to uh, choose the delimited option and then uh, click next then this uh, option we have the delimiters. The delimiter is simply an option where from the data it would be separated. So it, it could be tab, semicolon, comma, space, and others. So we can specify the details of the box. But in this example, we use the comma as uh, a delimiters. So as we uh, see from the data grid view, uh, it shows the output that separated our uh, uh, first name to the last name. Then all we have to do is to click the, the next option. It allow us to uh, choose the data format. And uh, this example, we uh, choose the general uh, format and click the finish button. And now this is the output of our uh, tutorial. The data or the uh, first name, the last name are separated into two columns. The question now is, is it possible for Microsoft Excel to manipulate the data into original form like a single column or in a single column like uh, the first name and the last name? So the answer is yes by the use of the formula. The formula is the concatenation. What is mean by concatenation formula? This formula allow us to combine two or more data in a single column. And that format, uh, and format that data according to our specification or requirements. How can we use this formula? Just the silly one to appear, the output. Just type the equal sign followed by the word concatenate. As you can, oh, as you have noticed, the syntax of the formula appear at the bottom. So we have text 1, text 2, text 3, and so on. So we set the body of the text 1 by selecting the A to cell. And followed by comma, and we want to insert the comma character filled with double quote at the text 2 then set the text tree into B2 cell. Make sure that these parameters are inside of the opening close parenthesis, then press enter. And this is our output, the same as the original data. All we have to do now is to copy the formula by dragging it down to the rest of the row by pointing the mouse pointer at plus sign right the bottom of the cell. And that's it. And that is for today's tutorial. For questions and comments, put it down below. Thank you for watching.